Revelation, the final book of the Bible. An extraordinary sequence of apocalyptic prophecies. It describes how the world is going to be ripped apart by a series of cataclysmic events. The Wailing Wall in Jerusalem was completely destroyed during yesterday's deadly bomb attacks. Holy moly! Storm. The pandemic. The attack on Israel. We're at the end of days. Okay, I need to get out of here. Go! Go, Doc! Can you hear that? Sir, no, what is that, sir? Tell him everything. First meteor strikes now reported on American soil. Grab the camera. What concerns NASA is that the asteroid is now believed to be on a collision course with the United States. There's a sequence of prophetic events that the Bible says will happen. These signs are getting clearer. They are getting harder to ignore. We have abused his trust. He's going to burn up the earth. He's going to burn up the heavens. are likely to be in the hundreds of thousands. More breaking news. Okay, we're getting reports now of further meteor impacts. Hey! Oh, my God! Do you take shelter? Advise civilians to take shelter. Hurricane force winds are now driving a cloud of dust and ash south towards Chicago and... All right, okay. I'm sorry. You gotta understand this is a little hard to take in. This is the command center. This is my bed. Sorry I didn't make it. This is Lee's. A little more cleanly. Guy still makes his bed every morning. You hear that, ladies? There's still a guy that makes their bed. There's our buddy. There he is. There's our hero. Guy who thinks that the Bible can explain what's happened to the world. I've been thinking about this a lot. I I can't help but wonder whether I'm part of his plan. I, I can't even believe I'm saying this. I feel like I've been chosen to tell a story. Back then, before it all started, I just, I thought it was a coincidence. That I was just in the right place at the right time. Making that dumb film. <laughs> Oh, 
So finally, I can tell you what's been going on. The world has fallen apart. Dust from the meteor means we're down to five or six hours of daylight. Permanent winter. I can't remember the last time I felt warm. The power grid's in tatters. Lucky if we get a couple hours a day. Some places don't get anything. Gas, it's worth its weight in gold. There's still sporadic outbreaks of the pandemic. You have to watch your back. It's dog eat dog. You just never know who you can trust. And, and this. These things. Red eagles. They've been cropping up everywhere. But this all means. We have no idea. Me? Why the hell are we still doing this? What do you mean? The world's going to shit, man, and we're still making a film. Why? This is the biggest story yeah, in no. 2,000 years. Only if you're right. If I'm right. Craig, the Wailing Wall, the meteor, the pandemic. I mean, you saw it for yourself. The weirdest part. It's all what Martin, Professor Kelly, told us about back in Jerusalem. I am trying to get a seat on the next available flight to London. Martin? Yes, I hope. So this one with it, some kind of asteroid or meteor? Colossal. Terrible death and destruction. And then what? The Bible calls it the tribulation. Seven years of ordeal and suffering and torment to test the limits of mankind. Mm -hmm. Test how? Rivers of blood, fields of fire. Plagues of locusts? Yes, those two. And the beast, the Antichrist. He builds his own city, Babylon. And then the forces of good and evil range together. Two prophets arise to confront him, and it all leads to Armageddon, and then the second coming. Jesus. Exactly. The, the next flight. It's all gonna happen, Craig. We're in the tribulation period right now. If you say so, buddy. Back to reality. We're down to our last media card. Already? Yeah. It's been years since the meteor strikes devastated North America and looters continue to run wild in the city's hardest hit, New York, Chicago, Boston, and other northern communities. get the feeling we're not the first ones here. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, we should check anyway. We might get lucky. You okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Lights. That's a good sign. Looks like the electrical department. Charger. Do the camera stuff. Oh. 
jackpot. <laughs> So this is what it's come to, looting for camera media cards to record onto. Uh, Craig, Craig, they have guns. Uh, we should uh, start walking over here. Okay, Craig, over here. Ah! Run, Craig! <laughs> A red eagle. Yeah. Let's go. So the Antichrist, how will we know? You won't. Not at first. The Antichrist won't have horns and a tail. He or she is able to convince the world that they're on the side of good. Could be anybody. Could be a rock star, a politician, a religious leader. But he builds Babylon, so he's in what, Iraq? Are you listening? Babylon is a metaphor, a sinful city, a seat of power. So maybe it's in America, who knows? Isn't there anything specific? Yes, there's one thing. It's a sign associated with the Antichrist and his followers. The mark of the beast. think you got a better idea the blast killed one soldier and it seriously injured another three it is the latest in an escalating series of IED attacks on military patrols and it's the second in Pennsylvania this week yeah, yeah, yeah. several Christian militia groups are active in the area now, responding to the crisis and continuing unrest in the northern cities, President Charles Brandon today announced new powers for the military and a plan to restore order. These so-called Christians are terrorists, pure and simple. Well, today I have a message for them. I will not rest until they're defeated. I am therefore authorizing the deployment of American troops to your cities, your streets, and your homes. I've been flying in soldiers and equipment all day. Guess the president means what he says. Personally, it's freaking me out. It feels like an occupation. Frank! Frank, get in here! Me? Get in here now! V, are you all right? V, are you what happened? Are you okay? Keep going. Oh my god. What is that? He's coming out of the faucet. I was watching. Suddenly everything's red. Talk, talk to me. Are you okay? Take a look. Oh my god. Horror movie. Yeah. 
the plot predicted in the Bible. They're doing it again. It's probably just rusty pipes, right? Most likely just in this building. I doubt it. Tennessee. Score zero for the atheist. Score 100 for the Bible. Now this mysterious red algal bloom has been reported in dozens of countries around the world now. The contaminated water is toxic and authorities have issued warnings to people not to drink or bathe in it. Scientists are linking it to dust from the meteor strike. Here in the U.S., the northern states have been hit the hardest, but the bloom appears to be heading south. Rivers of blood. Now this mysterious there they are. Has it's just algae. Dozens of countries around the world now. They're linking the you keep telling yourself that. The contamination of our rivers. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, and they became blood. I mean, come on. Are we really supposed to take this seriously? Well, you're certainly not going to take it literally. Sure, but why all the metaphors? Why not just tell us what's actually going to happen? Lee, you're John of Patmos. It's 90 AD. You have a prophetic vision of the future, of now. Hmm? There's dozens of things you're never going to understand. So maybe that's how an airplane becomes an angel, or a, a tank becomes a dragon. It's how they connect we have to decode. Like, like Martin said, I'm just making the connections. No. You're imagining the connections. Okay, you can't explain what's going on today with a book that was written thousands of years ago, Lee. That's insane. Why do you keep your line with so fucking obvious, man? What's well, obvious to you, not to somebody with a rational mind? Oh, come on. You can explain an individual disaster th through science. Of course you can. But that's not what's happening here, man. There's a pattern outlined in the Bible. The rapture, hundreds of thousands of people just disappear. The last stone on the temple falling. The asteroid, wormwood. The rivers of blood, how many more do you need? Craig, how many more do you need, man? You need to stay objective, okay? They're disasters. It's not a battle between good and evil. We'll see. President Charles Brandon made an announcement today about the second phase of his government's plan for the country. They're establishing what he is calling a safe zone across the Deep South, with its capital in New Orleans. Are you dreaming of a new America? An America free of crime and the 7-HC pandemic? An America where the water is clean. There's gas and electricity for all. And the future is bright. Welcome to the Safe Zone. In New Orleans, we are beginning the task of rebuilding this great nation. Law and order has been restored. Offshore, our oil rigs are back in action. And there's plenty of fresh water for everyone thanks to our desalination plants. And there are enough supplies at the Pendix of antibiotic to protect every man, woman, and child. In New Orleans, we offer all Americans a safe haven. I urge you to travel south and join us. There's room for everything. Brothers and sisters, the end of the day is upon us. Predict it. And that spark. And now. Just as the Bible says, the Antichrist has risen. His name is Charles Brandon. He is building a city of sin. In the Bible, it is called Babylon. Craig, 
Get this. I mean, this is our world. But it's called New Orleans. America is the new battleground. folks we owe you an explanation i want to tell you what happened in rural pennsylvania a christian terrorist group attacked one of our central tv relay stations what happened is the terrorists briefly interrupted president brandon's broadcast with extremist propaganda now the operation appears to have been led by former pennsylvania police officer john he's the member of an extremist evangelical cult they are known as the red eagles and its leader doug michaels is also thought to be from the Pennsylvania area. Now, the Tell me you got that. Only a few seconds. It's amazing. Christian nut jobs hijacking state TV at a time of war. Take some serious balls, man. Did you notice the logo behind him? Do you remember what Martin said? The Antichrist could be a religious leader. This is old Mark, man. Mark of the Beast. So Doug Michaels, our Red Eagle chief, thinks that President Brandon's the Antichrist. But you don't agree, right? I don't know. But this Doug guy says it kind of makes sense. But it's like Martin always said, it's ambiguous. Mark of the Beast it could be the Red Eagle logo. Wait, so now the God-fearing TV hijacker is the Antichrist? Dude, my head hurts. Let's figure out which one's which, then. How? We'll track this Doug character down. We don't know where he is. The TV relay was in Pennsylvania. John Evans, this is the right-hand man, was a cop from PA. Do the math. Sides. Dude, that's disgusting. I think it's time we had soap too, don't you? Quarter of a tank. We could definitely barter this to get there. At least part way. So we're going? Just like that? And what if I don't agree? You will. years. It's all in the Bible. The book of Revelation. It probably ends with me getting killed or us both killed. What if you're wrong? Guess you have a hell of a story to tell your grandkids then, won't you? Gridlock. Long delays. Traffic spilling and back up on the Massachusetts Turnpike. We're talking pretty slow. Total gridlock on the roads today as the first wave of refugees from the north began heading south to the safe zone. They're calling it Freedom Fuel. Precious gas released from government reserves to help people travel south. For those without cars or unable to find fuel, Freedom Buses are being sent to all northern cities to transport people south to New Orleans. We'll hitch a ride with someone on this street. Are you sure about this? I'm telling you, Pennsylvania. That's where these red eagles are kicking ass. Hey, guys. You guys headed south, right? Yeah. I have gas if you guys want to barter for two seats. What else you got? I can give you my watch. All right, we're in. How are they? Oh, you know, assholes. Are you guys all right if we film back here? Do whatever you want. 
Just don't fart. Yeah. Sure you get my best side, man. <laughs> Dude, that's your backside. <laughs> Now, the first of the southbound Freedom buses will depart at noon today. Citizens over the age of 70 will board specially equipped Freedom buses, each manned by a doctor, to provide medical care on the journey south. Let me assure you that we are working for a permanent solution to our continuing problems. Guys, check it out. We're in Jesus country now. <laughs> you think they're right? About what? About these being the final days. You know, stuff from Revelation. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Don't tell me you're one of those fanatics, too. No, no. I'm just saying that. What the hell is that? Beats me, dude. Sound before. V, look at this. Guys, you're not What's that up ahead? What's what? The weird dark cloud. Dude, it's just a weird dark cloud. What are they? Frank, get this, get this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't see. Dude, I can't see. What is this? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. We still do it. This is unbelievable. Dude, this is fucked. What is happening? Ah, this is gross. This is so gross, man. They're everywhere. What the hell are these things? Some kind of grasshopper. They're not grasshoppers. Vast swarms of locusts are now appearing across the U.S. Now, scientists are quite baffled by the phenomenon and are at a loss to explain where they have come from. It's a weird dark cloud. Right. It's freaking me out. Look at this. I've never seen anything like this. Do you remember back in Jerusalem? When Martin was talking about the locusts? Yeah. He said something about uh, they were linked to something. Uh, uh, so, storms, the chaos of Jerusalem, wormwood, uh, uh, skies go dark, what else? Horrible creatures from the bottomless pit to torment the rest of mankind. Huh? Bible calls them locusts. It could be any kind of pestilential swarm. Uh, nice. Well, nice is one way to describe the tribulation. What about this bottomless pit, then? Well, the Bible calls it smoking. It could be a volcano. It could be an earthquake. I don't know. You'll know it when you see it. Told you. This is just too weird, man. You guys coming or what? Yeah. OK, we're coming. Military production is being scaled up to meet the growing security challenges and ensure stability in the safe zone. Up in the north, government troops have launched a crackdown on Christian militias. Please tell me, everyone needs to move back, back around the corner. Come on, your window. Go back, back your house. Men machine guns coming towards us. I'm filming. I'm not going to stop filming. This is intense. Point. 
I don't really trust soldiers, but hey, if they got water and heat and women, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> yeah. You're searching? Alright. I think we might need to uh, cover the camera. Yeah, in a minute. Captain! Come take a look at this. Check out the Jesus Saves bumper sticker. <laughs> Jesus can't save their asses now. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Step out! Put your hands on your head. You guys said you weren't religious, right? They're not gonna find like a Bible or something, right? Right? Well, get out. Get out. Why? Dude, you heard him. He said, get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Come on, guys. Dude, he said, get, get out. out. Get out of the car. Out. out. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, quiet. Into the woods. We're taking a nice afternoon stroll. Hey, you two. You two, I said, back in the vehicle. Stop or I'll have to shoot. Craig, run. Run. Stop where you are. Run, Craig! Run! That's my problem. You just got shot at. Me. That's my problem. Beavis and Butthead probably ID'd us to those soldiers. We're gonna be on a wanted list by nightfall. Meanwhile, we're stuck out in these woods and it's getting colder by the minute. But you know what? I'm fine. Everything's peachy. And yet here you are still filming. I guess it's a habit. We're not lost. We are in Pennsylvania. And our self-styled prophet slash antichrist Doug, he's around here somewhere. I could smell him. Let's go. So we're not lost, right? That's what I keep saying. We're not lost. We're not lost at all? You're sure? No, Craig, we're not lost. This is starting to feel like the Blair Witch Project. Thank you for the gift of life in these difficult times, and we ask for your protection and guidance. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This is great. Thank you so much. It's just from cans. We, we truly appreciate it. Yeah, I really never even looked at a Bible until we went to Jerusalem and everything kicked off. You were there when the Wailing Wall fell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't believe in anything until our son disappeared, right before my eyes. We all started late down the road of salvation. I guess that makes you tribulation saints, then. The ones that rise up to fight the Antichrist. Maybe, when the time comes. It's Brandon, right? That's what Doug Michaels is. That's what he says, the Red Eagles guy. We're not sure. What Paul means is we need more signs. We don't take nobody's word. Not even a prophet. He's right. We can't just wait around forever. At some point, we're going to have to commit. 
you know where I can find Doug Michaels, the others? You can't. Nobody can. Don't even try. So the tank's about half full. You sure about this? Yeah. Head for Penfield. Good people there. Thank you. Craig, let's go. Good people. Is that why you lied to them? Calling Doug a prophet? I thought he was the Antichrist. Whatever it takes to get the story. So, do you think they're all just taken in by him? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Shit! Quick! If this goes bad, uh, I just want you to know I always thought you were kind of a jerk. Likewise, buddy. Maybe we should do what he says. It's okay for them to film? Yeah, boss approved it. Okay. The boss? That's who you're here to see, isn't it? What's he like? Doug. Yeah. He's, uh... Well, you'll have to judge for yourself. John Evans, coming through. have been following this from the very beginning. God has a purpose for you. The chroniclers of Revelation. Come on. I want to show you something. Come on. This is um, quite the setup you have here, Doug. Yeah, yeah, we figure we're safe for most things, short of a bunker buster. This is where you do your recordings? That's it, right there. Red Eagles. A map of Revelation. The Trumpet Judgments. Hail and fire, wormwood, the sun darkened. The bottom is fed. Do you guys know what it is? We think so. Really? Yeah. Show them. 
Come on, guys. That's where we're going. It's an old steel mill. But it doesn't make steel anymore. Just like that one. Freedom buses, too. What are they unloading? It's best if you see for yourself. Let's go. and grandfathers just, just being wiped out because it's cheaper than caring for them in the safe zone. Reports of grave pits like that all over the country. Bottomless pit. That's what that is. Yeah. <sighs> we think so. Lee. Yeah. If that's the bottomless pit, then who's the Antichrist now? Must be Brandon. So, Doug Michaels, that gun toting survivalist wing nut, is the leader of God's army on Earth? Yeah. The Red Eagles have to be the good guys. They're tribulation saints, like Martin said. I, I'm just trying to make sense of it. Who is it that fights this Antichrist? The tribulation saints. The who? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. They form a Christian army led by two prophets and march on Babylon. Amen. I'm 
I'm not going to go. Craig, don't you see? Is that what we are? Yes. If we want to be. Fate or God. Someone or something has given us this role. But is it worth risking our lives for? You got something better to do. that? Yeah. Hey, Roy. Yeah. Warner first ride along with the Red Eagles. An attack on another TV substation. They want their message on air again. Buddy, when this gets yeah. off, stay behind me. Network feed right here. In New Orleans, we are beginning the task of rebuilding this great nation. Law and order has been restored. Come on, hurry up. Come on. I'm going. I'm going. Did you see that lead? They just shot those men without warning. What do you expect, man? Come on, we've only got five. Hurry up. Okay, we're in. Do it. I urge you to travel south and join us. Brothers and sisters, ask yourselves, why does he want everyone in New Orleans? Or to call by its real name, Babylon. What has he got planned for you? It's time to take sides, to rise up against the end. Doug, can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. How do you justify the violence? I mean, your men killed soldiers tonight without warning. What alternative do we have? They could have been good men, just doing their jobs. Exactly. Listen, I try to 
keep violence to a minimum. This is no game. This is a war the Bible says has to be fought. And those who fight the Antichrist go to heaven. Oh, so killing for God is okay. You better get used to it. We're gonna have to fight our way into New Orleans. Christian extremists made dozens of attacks across the North today, all designed to cripple government infrastructure and to seize weapons and supplies. The scale of the operation suggests a number of groups have formed an alliance. These aren't Christians. They are terrorists. Those that harbor them will feel the full force of the law. Here they come. Okay, guys. Shoot only if you have to. John says these attacks are the next stage before the Red Eagles and a bunch of other Christian groups hit New Orleans. You don't think they can defeat Brandon's army, do you? No. But if the people rise up together at the same time, maybe they stand a chance. Guys, we're done here. Let's move out. You hear that? It's best to keep driving. Just hope they go away. Searching for Christian extremists are encountering increasingly strong resistance, with protesters taking to the streets. President Brandon has retaliated with even greater force. And we have Ronald on line four. Uh, hi, uh, have you seen what they're doing? Uh, it's like something out of the Third Reich. Uh, right down to the gas chambers, eh? I'm just saying, maybe those Red Eagles have a point. I mean, I don't know who the bad guys are anymore. So, what's next then? The sixth trumpet. Avenging angels bringing fire to brimstone. Doug, turn on the TV. President's life. It was just before 11 a.m. when President Brandon arrived at his safe zone headquarters for crisis talks on the protests. Sorry, I don't have Shortly after stepping out of his limousine, two shots rang out. President Brandon remains in a coma, with doctors saying his condition is critical. 
A Christian terror group calling itself the Red Eagles has claimed responsibility for the attack. And sources close to the president... But we should have known. Should have known what exactly? That he would try something like this. What do you mean? I mean, it's a setup to smear us. To give him an excuse to do anything he wants. Oh, come on. You, you don't actually believe in conspiracies like that, do you? Come on. What if Doug's right? And it is a setup. So Brandon took two bullets knowing that he would just somehow survive? That's pretty extreme, man, I have to say. There's, there's something about this in here. I know it. Uh, maybe this is exactly what's meant to happen. Remember what Martin said? Deception is this guy's specialty. Healed. It is exactly what the Book of Revelation says. The assassination attempt was a clear act of civil war. I have today authorized the use of full military force against the Christian terrorists. We will hunt you down, and when we find you, we will kill you. battery and we are recording let's go from the assassination attempt and the truth is every word that comes out of the antichrist's mouth is a lie and that was given on to him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies he will cause deceit deceit Trumpets again? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on! Frank, camera! Sixth trumpet, avenging angel. And out of the mouths issued smoke, fire, and brimstone. Okay, light him up.
All right, everyone, moving out now. Come on, up, let's go. Lee, Craig, over here. There's a fork in the tunnel. Go right. There's a truck in the trees, the keys are in, okay? Now go. But what about you guys? I'll see you in Babylon. Now move, go! Government forces today launched massive retaliatory strikes against Christian terror groups linked to the assassination attempt on President Brandon. Sources say many groups were wiped out entirely, but the hunt continues for the leaders of the most militant group, the Red Eagles. Thousands of bombs. It's like something out of apocalypse now. It's the fields of fire. And the fourth angel poured his vial upon the sun. And a power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. Is this biblical enough for you? More than enough. You no, know, let's just try it. Let's try this place right here. Doesn't look exactly inviting. They got a couple pumps. Anything? Nope. Not a thing. So how far to New Orleans? 20, 30 miles. What happens to it? You know, like, in the book. It's utterly destroyed in the final battle between good and evil. Great. Don't you think maybe we just shouldn't go there? Dude, you starting to believe? All I'm saying is why risk it, right? Hmm. All right, I guess we'll both get killed. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> I knew you were with me. Are you coming? Yeah, just give me a minute. Lee, if you're the one who finishes this film, and I don't get to actually tell you this, I just wanted you to know that I'm sorry and I apologize for doubting you. Working on this film with you, man, it's, it's been the greatest experience of my life. I guess we're walking. More and more people are taking up President Brandon's invitation to the safe zone, leaving the fighting and increasing pollution in the north behind. It's one of the largest migrations in human history. Tailbacks stretch for miles. Tens of thousands of people are on the road, all hoping for a better life. Security forces have been dispatched to maintain order in the approach to New Orleans.
Welcome to the safe zone, the birthplace of the new America. As a precaution against the threat of a renewed pandemic, all new entries must be inoculated with Penlixa. This simple injection will help keep the safe zone safe. Thank you, Peter. You'll receive an inconspicuous barcode to prove that you've been injected. Even I have one. This simple injection. It's New Orleans over there. <sighs> I don't see how we're going to get through this. I've got an idea. But you're not going to like it. Few in place. Look at this. They're here already. No wonder they're killing all the sick and the elderly. No resources here. Guess only the strong survive. Some kind of shop. They're using some kind of barcode on their wrist to buy things. Sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Read the Bible or something? Couldn't sleep. Safe zone is a lie. It's no better than the North. It's dirty. It's run down. It's a police state, like Hitler's Germany. Right down to the eugenics. Welcome to Babylon. Uh, section D clear. New arrival still pouring in, but uh, no sign of trouble. Propaganda shit. We interrupt your regular programming with a special news alert. The leaders of the Christian terror group, the Red Eagles, who were behind the assassination attempt on President Brandon, have been killed in a military operation. It was just after midnight when special forces surrounded this isolated farmhouse near Countersport, Pennsylvania. Inside the jackpot. Red Eagle leaders Doug Michaels and John Evans. Both men were killed after a fierce firefight. Their bodies were taken to a military morgue for full identification. This is a decisive victory in the war on terror. A textbook operation 
that eliminated the undisputed leaders of an organization that has been responsible for countless American deaths. My God. People may sleep easier in their beds tonight. You kill them like animals. What now? I don't know. What does the Bible say? Hey, you! The camera! Stay where you are! Soldiers. Okay, quick! Now! Run, quick! Are they gone? I think so. I don't see anybody. Maybe we should head in there. See if we can find some shelter. Good idea. Craig. It's people. Hi. So, you were saying something about what happens next? Actually, Martin's the one who said it. So the true prophets, the ones who lead the force of the good to victory, how are we supposed to know them? I mean, 100%. They rise from the dead. Literally. I don't know, it could be a spiritual metaphor, but the Bible says that they're captured and killed by the forces of the beast and then resurrected. Really? So, these men are just gonna what? Put themselves back together like Humpty Dumpty? You saw their bodies, Lee. You hear, I thought you were starting to believe. Not in fairy tales. A quick update for you now. President Brandon announced today that due to continuing lawlessness, the curfew... Brothers and sisters, you know who I am. You saw my dead body. But now God has raised me from the dead to continue his work. Now believe me. Please. God loves you. And Brandon does not. And this is what he's doing. What the hell? Lee, that's my footage. A massacre of the innocent. But what, what else, else do you need to act? Now is the time to rise up. Destroy his evil. Now, to prove that this is God's will, he brings you one last sign. Doug's words, his prediction about the earthquake, it was like dynamite. Right after the tremors stopped, demonstrations started. The crowds just got bigger and bigger. I think it's happening. The uprising, people have had enough. Did Doug really just come back from the dead? I mean, he could have set all that stuff up before he died. 
was even better. It was a real earthquake. That's for sure. today called for calm an earthquake hit New Orleans, blaming the rioting that broke out across the city on a fake propaganda broadcast. So this is Armageddon. No, this is just the beginning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get this. Let's go! Armageddon, the end game, the last battle between good and evil. How it unfolds, I have no idea, but it will be violent and bloody and dangerous. have breached the safe zone perimeter. Reports are coming in now that they control large sections of the city. We also have unconfirmed reports of army personnel laying down their weapons. When does this insanity end? It's not becoming. What? Armageddon ends with the return of Christ. Come on then, tell me more. Jesus appears in the clouds. Are we really gonna see that? I don't know. That's what the book says. Get out of here. Let's get back to the warehouse. It might be safer there. Maybe it's all over. I don't think so. Where the hell are we supposed to go? There's nowhere to go. I guess this is it.
Christ on earth. I have to get this. Are you insane? I've been in this from the beginning. I'm not going to miss the ending. Craig, do not go out there. Craig, you will die. Don't be a hero, man. Please don't go out there. I gotta go out there. Please don't. Craig, come back. Craig, no. Scientists remain unsure what caused the intense blast of light and heat, although a nuclear explosion has been categorically ruled out. Now, shortly after this unexplained phenomenon, President Brandon was found dead in his bunker. It's thought he may have committed suicide or have been killed by his own men as they mutinied. Just get that, oh my God. It's crazy. Holy crap. I have never seen anything like this. So the second coming, Jesus Christ on earth? The Bible says it'll signal a thousand years of peace. Perhaps that just means a new way of seeing, a new way of being, without war and violence. Whatever it is, I'd like to be there. Sounds quite something. I still can't get used to seeing the sun so clearly. I guess we were lucky to survive, if you believe in luck, that is. I'm not sure I do anymore. We never found Craig's body. I don't know what happened to him. But I do know that wherever he is, he's doing fine. Things are getting better, gradually. The fighting stopped. People, those of us who are left, help each other when we can. Maybe it's a second chance for humanity. Maybe we won't screw it up this time. Or at least not so bad. Maybe.